Hey guys, welcome back to another video, video number four. I cannot believe how quickly the weeks are flying by. Honestly, I feel like just time is getting away from me, but I expected that. I think that when you are, you know, wanting to explore so much, trying to cram so much in, time is going to get away from you. So I'm just making sure to enjoy every little part of this trip, but I'm out at a little camping spot out at Coaldale. So I'm going to be exploring all of the Royal National Park this weekend. So I've got a few little cool spots that I want to check out, especially, you know, things like Wedding Cake Rock, which I feel like a lot of people have heard but I'm still on the fence whether or not I want to go there just because it is blocked off now so we'll see how we go about that but there's also Seacliff Bridge, Madden's Falls so heaps of really cool locations that I'm super excited to share with you all but this entire part of the coastline is stunning so this will be where I'll be spending a fair few couple of weeks or weekends I should say.
spot was incredible. Fun fact, which I thought I might explain to everyone, is that I didn't plan that spot. I just happened to have a couple of hours free in my afternoon and I jumped on Google Maps. I tend to do this as a bit of a hobby. I kind of just troll Google Maps. I put on satellite and I kind of just see what's around because you'd be surprised what you don't know is local to you. So I kind of just clicked on this one, which is Helensborough uh, Tunnel, I think it is, and magical. That was so, so cool. So I don't know if anyone's ever going to be around this area. If you are, check that spot out. But if not, if there's any take-homes from this, is like, honestly, open Google Maps, see what's in your local area, and get out and go and explore because it just... I don't know, just set something in my soul on fire and I just want everyone else to experience that. So that is me done today. I'm going to go and watch the sunset and eat some dinner and then tomorrow we have got so many cool spots. There is one particular spot I'm going to check out which I'll tell you guys about tomorrow but I actually don't know how to get to it. So maybe this is another case of me getting lost or maybe I will find the most epic spot ever. But either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So I am out at Cape Salander at the moment. I'm doing the Cape Bailey track, but there is actually a little hidden spot, which is the Skylight Cave, I think it's called. And it's a little bit of a weird one to find. So you kind of just have to follow a little bit of an off the beaten track to get there, but I'm pretty certain that I can find it. So fingers crossed, but I'll show you guys at least the directions of how to get there if you haven't already. to get down in some parts but actually doable so I'm actually really glad that I did that but that was a really beautiful spot I feel like I'm running out of favorites I think every spot is just my favorite from now on so I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna to go to next and yeah go from there too much longer until I get down to the figure eight pools but just my luck it has started raining I feel like I've had really good weather 
so I really can't be complaining. But either way, my jacket's waterproof, my bag is waterproof, camera is safe. That's all that matters. So, and I'm probably still going to get into the pools. So we'll see how we go. guys I am checking out for the weekend this weekend was amazing but look I'm gonna say that about every single weekend so you might as well just get used to that but I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up that next weekend I'm actually doing my wave one free diving certification with salty pilgrims which I am so excited to get back in the water with them if you have ever considered doing free diving please go and do one of the intro courses they are incredible and um, yeah hopefully I can get the GoPro out and get some footage but because I am doing my certification I don't want to obviously focus too much on getting videos when I want to actually focus on getting the certification that's the main priority so I'll see what I can put together for next week's video even if it is a short one but until then I will see you guys there thanks for following along up until now bye guys